we have come back once again this is Aki Magneto and uh, we want to do the concluding part of the web page which is the footer section so I've opened up where I'm going to insert the footer now follow as we move on now for us to have a preview of how it's going to look like let's let's check now we have um, we have the preview as this sorry it's still loading Sorry. This is going to be so you can check. Um, let's check out what we have here. We have uh, four. Uh, this footer is divided into four section. That means we are going to create uh, bets there's a, uh, there is a container bounding everything with this color and uh, there's another container inside as well so and also there is a div that contains all these this section this section quick links this section our offers and this section social media so that means we are going to make sure we do all this in the next minute now let me take you straight to the tutorial file and let's start now the first thing we are going to do is to like in uh, create more divs open the div close it inside this div insert another div inside this div now inside the third div we are going to insert like uh, four divs which is going to serve for the content you can just copy these paste paste and paste now we are set to do what we are about to do now let's start adding class to this now our high d here is going to be footer footer section sorry the um the s there it's uh, in i caps now we're going to add a class to this the class is going to be called container and the div class here it's going to be row good now we have uh, these to be a class called uh, the class is going to be called span3 now the heading h5 tag Let's close the h5 tag now that's going to be account at the end we're going to link something we're going to use the a tag that means we're going to create each um, href link the nothing and we have contact contact at the handle let's copy these and the paste two three four and the five now we're going to change the text we have it personal information addresses discount order information so um, now let's say order history good now we are through with this diff now let's go to the next diff which is uh, going to be we're gonna add a class for this. It's gonna be called a span three. Sorry. Now we're gonna add adding H five. Um, 
quick links now we're gonna add our a tag then we're gonna add hrf link to nothing it's gonna be a contact now you can copy this paste or sorry paste it five times contact registration legal notice terms and conditions terms and uh, conditions uh, suppliers or let's say frequently asked questions okay now I'll just advise you to you know to shorten our time just let's copy these under replace with this then yeah, we're gonna do some changes here um, which is gonna be called our, uh, our offers now I'm gonna change some text here new products free coupons free coupons special offers um, support center and let's see suppliers good now we have the next div which is going to be different because uh, we have uh, the first three divs or the first three containers has a um, text but looking at this one we see that we have um, social media here alongside our images so it's going to be a little bit different from others so now let's go straight to that and uh, the idea is going to be different so this is going to be your social media sorry now social media we're going to have a class to this the class is going to be span uh, 3 but pull uh, right yeah good and uh, we have our uh, h5 it's gonna be a uh, social media then mind you we are gonna have like our uh, a tag to make sure to 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 to, to efforts insert the images and also link them to our respective social media page this is like, going to be linked to nothing for now and uh, i'm going to use an image tag which is img major but before that i need to set the width the width to be your uh, image width to be your uh, let's say 60 oh let's try 50 okay let's try 40 sir 40 source so let's be things images now there is image inside the theme called of facebook or it has meant for the social media facebook and uh, some other things like that type to it's gonna be let's say facebook let's say facebook uh, mind you we need to close this okay i think now what you can do is, is you can copy this and uh, paste sorry paste this three times since we are going to use it for different things 
so uh, I'm gonna change this to uh, Twitter the PNG and this to uh, YouTube the PNG and the text is gonna change this is gonna change to uh, Twitter Twitter this is gonna change to YouTube good so um, from what I have here I think like I can check what I have for now so I have to like or you know check if um, what I've done is right or wrong if there are any errors whatsoever now um, so but uh, I'll need to like uh, put my uh, something here the uh, the copyright or uh, something uh, the class is gonna be called uh, full right uh, I have this uh, the copyright logo am I correct yeah I'm correct magneto let me see mark so that's an excel thing yeah so uh, let let's check let's check if uh, what we did is uh, correct at all but, uh, if you know our files is here so let's check wow so with this we have been able to create the old stuff from scratch and I'm congratulating you for us meeting at the end of the build, the build up to this course. Now this is phase one, and uh, let's check all over again. We have our header. It has a logo. It has a, uh, a search box. It has a uh, drop down. It has uh, the, the the link menus. It has a, a carousel, and uh, maybe in, a, in my next tutorials I'll teach you how to design nice carousel without much words because action um, words a uh, picture contains more than 1000 words so once you have a good uh, image it depicts your stuff in a more proper way and also this is just a sneak view to your basket that means your cat and we have this drop down it's working perfectly now you can link all these things to their respective pages now we have a feature product now a feature product is like a and high catching uh, section whereby you have uh, your product being displayed that means that it's you know as it moves it, you, it tends to give all products you have in your store a chance to display now without the user scrolling down down let's assume we have up to like 24 of this of these ones of these ones now the, the person might not be interested in searching out true they can the user can actually go here go to these that are, you know pick I, apple ipods sony panasonic or just go straight to this and try to check if there are more inside the you know the the, the records you have on your database now also for this this is for a section where you can go and check more that means if you want to buy more as an above the budget the ones we have here so now and also this is just to guide them if they have any issues they can contact you they can check their personal information but all this has to be automated with php so i am i've already promised you that i'm going to take you through the php part of it as well but before that i'm going to teach you how to upload it to your web server that you've bought from the uh name cheap or uh, affiliate link i sent i showed you at first kindly go through that link that is my affiliate link and I'm pleading you to please go through that link order for your hosting and I promise you you won't regret it you can read more about Namecheap they are very good they are very okay and also for this web website as well you can check the mobile responsiveness to know if it is responsive now what do I mean by mobile responsiveness now the latest trend in designing nowadays is rely on the uh, so as I was saying that mobile responsiveness it's the latest trend 
in uh, web design or let me say web program or in short in terms of uh, internet and www now owing to the latest invention of mobile devices we have several um uh, gadgets being used to access the website or to access your website and what are those gadgets they are your smartphones of lower resolution or let me say of lower screen size so if you have a screen size Let's say you have a Samsung phone or you have a Xiaomi or you have a Liagu or you have any forms of device, maybe your iPad, your, high, um, your iPad, your MacBook. Now you should know they have different screen sizes. So on PCs like HP, like Dell and others in the category, they also have uh, different screen sizes. We have 14, in we have 14 inches, we have 15.5 inches, we have 17 pavilion screen sizes and so on. So you as a web developer or a web designer must be able to design a website that will be displayed correctly on uh, each devices so now you can check you can expand this you can check its uh, you know its uh, function you can see that means i'm trying to like check the i'm trying to check if it's going to work out well on tablet you can see perfectly it's going to display all these were or uh, on the same line before but because of the responsiveness power that it has it displayed or uh, like a uh, rose no you can can you see so you can see what you've done that it is perfect it is perfectly okay and all right now if you go through this straight up straight it up and uh, you keep resizing it you can see it's totally responsive can you see you can see you can see you can see up to the last and i'm very sure the screen size of this um web page right now is going to be like four four inches of four you know for something yeah it should be around four inches now and this is the button where you can click it drops down this is the mobile uh, menu it drops down all the menus and you can return it back now thank you so much for watching my tutorial I advise you to please subscribe, follow, comment, drop your comments, do um, share it on your social media, your Facebook, your Twitter, like your LinkedIn, and everything. I want everyone to get the glimpse of how HTML programming work. Now, this is a project which I did myself, and I want everyone to know about how I've done it. Now, you can check the files which are uh, all these are, and I'll upload the file for you to download. If you want to use it straight up without going through my tutorial now the link is going to be displayed right here now the link is going to be uh, and this is where the link is is, is going to be you, know, you can check so this is where the link is going to be Now, if you can download more designs and uh, thanks for watching. See you in. Now, thank you. See you.